The three little pigs were trembling with fear. Would their plan work, or would the big bad wolf soon be inside their little house? Suddenly, down the chimney came the big bad wolf, and with a huge splash, fell straight into the cooking pot. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. That story was scary, Daddy. A big bad wolf can't really come down the chimney, can he? Of course not, Caillou. It's just a story. Now, you settle down to sleep. It's getting late. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. Sweetie, what's the matter? Did you have a scary dream? There's a monster under my bed. I heard it growling. I think it's the big bad wolf. Oh, Caillou, the big bad wolf isn't real. I thought I could sleep here with you and Daddy. You're a big boy now, Caillou. You have to sleep in your own bed. How about I go and check under your bed for monsters? Come on, buddy. Let's go and look together. Okay. I don't hear anything. It was coming from under there. No monsters here. Check the closet, Daddy. Sometimes monsters hide in there, too. Be careful. No monsters in here, either. But I heard it. Now, you hop back into bed. Can you check under the bed one last time? Just to make sure. Okay, but then you have to go to sleep. A <laughs> <laughs> m, m, m monster It's the big bad wolf! It's going to eat us! Oh! It's not a big bad wolf, it's just Gilbert! I think Gilbert might have been purring in his sleep. He does that sometimes when he's dreaming. I'm sorry I called you a monster, Gilbert. I wasn't really scared. I knew it was Gilbert all along. Sleep tight, Caillou. Mommy and I are just next door if you need us. Though you'll be extra safe with Gilbert protecting you. <laughs> Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo is struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave Girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with Cave Girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's 
Let's try out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro... I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to enjoy a fun-filled day at the water park. Caillou was being a good older brother and was teaching Rosie how to swim. Okay, Rosie. All you have to do is kick your legs really fast, like this. Now you try. Great job, Rosie. Caillou, you're a very good teacher. Those children are fighting a pirate ship. Looks like they could use your help, Caillou. Captain Caillou to the rescue! Hold on, Caillou. You need to put some sunscreen on first. But I want to 
to go and battle the pirates. You won't be able to fight the pirates if you get a sunburn. Okay, Mommy. But hurry! We can't let the pirates take over the water park. Ah, it's cold. Hold still, Caillou. Perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> Meow! Mommy, I can't fight the pirates looking like this. They'll laugh at me. Oh, okay, Captain Caillou. Come here. There. Now you're ready to go and save the day. Come on, Rosie. Let's go sink the pirate ship. Ready? Aim. Fire! Yar, matey! <gasps> Watch out, Caillou. The pirates are fighting back. Don't worry. I'll get him. Our man overboard! Oh, oh, we, we did, did it! it. Yay. Yay! We did it, Rosie! We stopped the pirates from taking over the water park! Yar! <laughs> After all that excitement, I bet you two could do with a rest. How about we take a ride down the lazy river? That sounds like fun. This is very relaxing. It's a bit slow. Can't it go any faster? Why don't we have a race to that palm tree, Caillou? Okay. Here I come, Caillou! Whoa! I did it! I won! Well done, Caillou! Why is the line moving so slowly? Be patient, Caillou. This is the biggest slide at the water park. It'll be worth the wait. <gasps> the biggest? Can't we go on the second biggest slide? Don't worry, Caillou. There are two slides next to each other, so we can go down together. Oh, okay. Are you ready, Mommy? I'm a little scared. Could you hold my hand? Of course, Mommy. I'll protect you. Okay. Three... Two, one, go! <laughs> See, Caillou, that wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for holding my hand, Caillou. You're very brave. That was splash-tastic! <laughs> Today, Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. <laughs> Okay, Rosie, they're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Go kisses! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou. Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay. We can get you another one. It's not my ice cream. It's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh, dear. Poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. Why? Why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it. But it was trying to eat my ice cream. 
Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. That's a big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Excuse me, can me and my sister ride the donkey? Sure you can! Whoa, this is high up! <laughs> Here, these will keep you safe. Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. strong to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. Today was a very exciting day for Caillou. He and his classmates had gone on a school trip to the aquarium. Keep close, everyone, and stay with your trip buddy. Wow! Caillou looked at all the fish in the tank. There were big ones and small ones, long ones and round ones, and fish in every color imaginable. Caillou thought it was amazing. <laughs> You're my favorite! Come on! You're going to miss it! Oops! Sorry! I'm coming! Goodbye! Wow! This room is even bigger! It's like we're fish underwater! <laughs> it's starting! What is it? Caillou watched as a man swam around with the fish. He thought it looked like lots of fun. Wow! They said that the mask he's wearing helps him to breathe underwater. And the special shoes help him swim like a fish. Caillou thought that swimming around with all the fish looked amazing. He imagined what it would be like. Hi there! Have you seen any treasure nearby? this treasure! <laughs> there you are! Caillou! Come on! You have to put this on and come outside, Caillou. Oh, uh, okay. Caillou loved finding the buried treasure but he didn't understand why he had to wear the funny coat. 
Is everyone ready? You might get a little wet. It's time to meet our friend, the sea lion. That was amazing! It's lucky we had these coats. <laughs> hey, Sarah! I look just like a starfish! <laughs> Caillou loved being a scuba diver and seeing all of the fish. But he loved being a starfish even more. <laughs>